Hello and welcome to another video on Power BI. My name is Mitchell Pearson. If you like this video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what kind of videos interest you the most. That way, as I'm building new videos in the future, I can take that into account and make sure I'm building videos that you are interested in. Today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking a look at building out dynamic titles in Power BI. This is pretty cool. This is something that a lot of people are interested in. We've been doing it in Power BI for many years, but it's gotten a lot easier recently due to a change with conditional formatting and some of the stuff we can do. So with a little bit of DAX and with a little bit of conditional formatting, we can make our title names dynamic. The other thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you two things. The first one is drilled down and the, the name of your charts changing dynamically but then I'm also gonna show you a drill through here at the end as well. So let me show you the completed example real quick. If I go over to completed example, I have a nice little column chart here and you see across the top that we are currently looking at sales by all countries for all ages, for all customers. Now, as I drill down in this report or as it has any other filters that are being applied, I want that title name to change. So it's automatically obvious, it's very just, in, like we know what it is, it's intuitive. We know exactly what's being filtered on this report. So therefore, if I come in here and I click on, let's say United States, watch what happens with the title name across the top. We're now looking at sales by United States for all ages, for all customers. And therefore, if I um, alternatively click on, let's say 45 through 54, that shows up here in our title name as well. And that is pretty cool. Now. If you're not brand new to Power BI, you already know that you can figure out what a chart is being filtered by, by simply going over to the little filter button right here across the top. And that will let us know right there that it's currently being filtered by the ages of 45 to 54 and the country United States. However, maybe if you got a bunch of visuals and you're, you don't wanna always have to do that. You just want it to show right there across the top of your report so you can see it. So that's what we're gonna work on. That's what we're gonna be building here as we work through this here in the next section. And this is pretty cool. And then, like I said before, we have a drill through report. We're gonna drill through. We're gonna take a look at when you drill through, what is it being filtered by as well? So we can set that up and that is pretty cool as well. So the first thing that we wanna do in order to make this work, we'll go over here to our dynamic title names. This is what you would see by default. You bring it in, it brings in you know, the, the metric and it brings in the attribute that you're slicing by and that's the, the title name. And if I were to come back into this chart here and drill down, it says an age breakdown, but it doesn't tell me specifically what the filter is. It doesn't tell me what country I just drilled into. So it's not as dynamic as I would like it to be. And so what we're gonna do is build a measure, very simple measure in DAX that's going to help us to build out that dynamic title. So step one, we'll come over here and in my internet sales table here, let me go ahead and right click like so, and then we'll go ahead and grab new measure. And then up here, we're going to just call this one something like our dynamic title. I'll make that a little bit bigger there. Dynamic title equals, and we're going to use the selected value function. Now this is not a new function. It is a newer function. It's not always been around in Power BI, um, specifically in the DAX language. But we're going to use the selected value function. And what the selected value function does is it will return the value of the column, if the value in the column is a single value. In other words, if, if, if it's been filtered down to a single value, selected value will return that value. So if you're looking at countries, well, right now we have lots of countries, right? But if we were to filter down to just the United States, then we only have one. So selected value would return that one country. And then if it's not a single value, it returns the alternate result. So what we're gonna say here is, let's do sales territory like so there we go and then we're going to grab country and we're going to say look if it doesn't match if there's not a single value for the country we're going to say all countries right so we'll do all countries here like so and so we'll start with this and then we're going to build this out just a little bit so this is going to be the very basic that we want to do here for building out our dynamic title and then we need to map that to our chart. How do we map it to our chart? Well, before, this is the cool part here, before conditional formatting, this was really difficult to do. We kind of tricked it a little bit. We did some layering, we did some other stuff, but now it's a lot easier. So if I go into this visual right here, if I select the visual, go into the formatting section, what we're going to do here is we are going to change the title name. And right now, what you'll notice 
and I'll need to zoom in here like so. What you'll notice right now is that that value is hard coded, right? Well, we don't want it to be hard coded. We want it to be dynamic based on the measure we just created. We can actually map the measure that we just created. We can map it to that title text. And the way we do that is by clicking on this little FX button, this function button. That's going to give us another pop up here. And in this pop up, we're just going to tell it, hey, display the filled value. And then we're going to go in here and find that measure that we just created called dynamic title, like so. And that's it. That's all you do. You just grab the measure that way. And now when we click on OK, we now have all countries. All right, so this is pretty cool, but we want to build this out, right? So if I click on, watch this, if I click on United States, United States. If I click on age group, it doesn't really change because it still recognizes just United States. So we're going to add a little bit more to the DAX uh, to make this work. Now, what I will do is in the comments below, I'll put in the Microsoft blog that I got this example from. So you can go back and look at that blog as well. So let's go back into our dynamic measure here, dynamic title right there. And then we're going to build this out. So the first thing we're going to tell it is at the beginning, I want to add a little bit of text. So total, let's do total sales. And then that'll be, well, we'll just do sales by maybe. We'll do sales by and then space. You want to make sure you add a space in there. And then that's going to be the country. Now we also want to add in the age group and we want to add in all customers at the very end. So we'll say total sales or sales by total countries. And then I want to add in a little space here like so. And then we'll go down to the next line. All right. So sales by the country. We'll add a space on the end. And now we want to add in the ages. So sales by country. Got to make sure we write this correctly. So sales by United States comma. So we want to space a comma in here, right? Comma, what age group comma all customers. So that's going to be the first part. And then here we'll type in selected value again. This time we're doing selected value on our age breakdown, which is the next level of the hierarchy. So the top of our hierarchy is country, age breakdown, and then customer name. So we'll do selected value and then we'll do customer and then our age breakdown like so. And then if it isn't a single value, then we want to say all, all ages, right? So we'll do all ages if it's not a single value like so. All right, we'll close that up and then we'll do an ampersand sign and we're going to add another, how do we want to do this? Some people use a comma, some people don't for the very last one. That's up to you. I'm going to skip the comma. We're just going to say and add a space and an ampersand sign. And then we're going to say here at the bottom, uh, you know what, we'll just say and all customers because we don't really drill down any further in our report. So I think we got enough spaces. I think we got that set up correctly there. And so now let's go back and take a look at this. So right now we're looking at sales by all countries, all ages and all customers. That's the top level of our report. But if I drill into Australia, it says sales by Australia, all ages and all customers. If I drill into ages 55 plus, sales by Australia, ages 55 plus and all customers. That's pretty cool. That's our dynamic title. Now we're not done because the last thing I want to do here is I have created a drill through report. Very simple report with just a table on it. And you'll notice right now there's actually a filter on this report, but I'm going to remove the filter so there's no filter on it. And what I want to do is whenever I drill through, so we've talked about how to set up this kind of dynamic titles. How can we further take advantage of selected value here? When I drill through from one report to another, sometimes it's easy to forget what filters have been applied. And so else you got to go into the filters pane and see what filters are there. Um, or you got to go into the little filter on your chart and see what filters are being applied there. But if you want it to be right there on the report, very obvious, we can build a DAX measure for that as well. And so what I'll do is on my internet sales table, I'll create a new measure here. All right. And we'll call this one something like, um, to keep it very simple, we'll call this selected country. And then we're going to tell it that. We're going to grab selected value from, of course, sales territory. Like so, and then country. And then really, we don't need an alternative here because it's a drill through. So you'll never drill through unless you at least selected a country because the drill through criteria is on country. 
but I will tell it here at the end. I'm going to add a little bit of text here at the beginning that just says country selected like so. And so that'll tell us exactly what country has been selected. Now, with that being done, whoops, with that being done right there, we are going to bring in a card visual. I'm going to show you another cool little trick here if you haven't seen this before. Uh, I'm going to bring in a card visual here. We'll just move it up to the top, grab in our selected country here, and you see it's blank, right? Because we haven't really, we haven't, we haven't filtered down. But a couple of problems here. One, I don't like that this isn't formatted. It doesn't have my nice little shadow in the background. So I can either go through formatting or I can grab an existing visualization and I can go to the format painter and then I can just copy that over. So that's pretty cool. If you haven't seen that before, which a lot of people are not, just don't quite see it in Power BI. You wouldn't expect it. You use it in Excel, you use it in Word, but then you don't really notice it here. So we have our slicer. Let's go back to dynamic title names here and we're going to go back to the country. We're going to drill through and let's see what this looks like. So if I go to country, I right click and I tell I want to drill through. We're going to go to that drill through report, see country details. And as soon as I click that, it brings us here. There it is. We have this cool little slicer across the top, this card visual that tells us exactly how this report has been filtered. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. In this video, we took a look at just a really quick tips and tricks video um, on how to use dynamic titles in Power BI using selected value and a little bit of DAX. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe. Until next time, have a good day.